Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on this Monday, the 23rd day of November. Uh, this day we will uh, take a look at the life of C.S. Lewis uh, during our service. Morning prayer begins on page 42 of the prayer book. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We continue with the invitatory psalm. We'll take, together we will read the ben Benite, which begins on page 44. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is the Lord our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. For he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth, and with righteousness to judge the world and the peoples with his truth. We continue with the psalm appointed for today. Uh, we will read a portion of Psalm 139 which begins on page 794 of the prayer book. We will read the first nine verses. Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You trace my journeys and my resting places and are acquainted with all my ways. Indeed, there is not a word on my lips, but you, O Lord, know it all together. You press upon me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain to it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning, and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea. Even there your hand will lead me, and your right hand hold me fast. We continue with the gospel assigned for this morning. It comes to us from John chapter 16, beginning at the seventh verse. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will prove the world wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment about sin. Because they do not believe in me about righteousness, because I am going to the Father and you will see me no longer. About judgment, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. I still have many things to say to you but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason I said <clears throat> that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. The Word of the Lord. We continue with Canticle 19 on page 94, the Song of the Redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One, all nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. 
You must make your choice, C.S. Lewis wrote in Mere Christianity. Either this man was and is the Son of God, or else a madman or something worse. You can shut him up as a fool, you can spit at him and kill him as a demon, or you can fall at his feet and call him Lord and God. Lewis did not always believe this. Born in Belfast on November 29, 1898, Lewis was raised as an Anglican but rejected Christianity during his adolescent years. After serving in World War I, he started a long academic career as a scholar in medieval and Renaissance literature at both Oxford and Cambridge. He also began an inner journey that left, led him from atheism to agnosticism to theism and finally to faith in Jesus Christ. Really, a young atheist cannot guard his faith too carefully, he later wrote of his conversion to theism in Surprised by Joy. Dangers lie in wait for him on every side. Amiable agnostics will talk cheerfully about man's search for God. To me, as I was then, they might well have talked about the mouse's search for the cat. You must picture me all alone in that room at Magdalen, night after night, feeling, whatever my mind lifted, even for a second from my work, the steady, unrelenting approach of him who I so earnestly desired not to meet. That which I greatly feared had at last come upon me. In the Trinity term of the year 1929, I gave in and admitted that God was God and knelt and prayed, perhaps that night the most dejected and reluctant convert in all of England. Two years later, his conversion was completed. I know very well when, but hardly how, the final step was taken. I was driven to Whipsnade one Sunday morning. When we set out, I did not believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and when we reached the zoo, I did. Lewis's conversion inaugurated a wonderful outpouring of Christian apologetics. In media, as varied as popular theology, children's literature, fantasy and science fiction, and correspondence on spiritual matters with friends and strangers alike. In the year 1956, Louis, Lewis married Joy Davidman, a recent convert to Christianity. Her death four years later led him to a transforming encounter with the mystery of which he had written so eloquently before. Lewis died at his home in Oxford on November 22nd in the year 1963. The inscription on his grave reads, men must endear their going hence. We continue our service by reading together the Apostles' Creed, which can be found on page 53. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit, let us pray. We begin with the Lord's Prayer, followed by Suffrages A. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. Endue thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in thee can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under thy care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. 
Let thy way be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with thy Holy Spirit. We continue with the colics, beginning with the colic for C.S. Lewis. O God of searing truth and surpassing beauty, we give thee thanks for Clive Staples Lewis, whose sanctified imagination lighteth fires of faith in young and old alike. Surprise us also with thy joy and draw us into that new and abundant life, which is ours in Christ Jesus, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Heavenly Father, in whom we live and move and have our being, we humbly pray thee so to guide and govern us by thy Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget thee, but may remember that we are ever walking in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who has made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and did send thy blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after thee and find thee. Bring the nations into thy fold. Pour out thy Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of thy kingdom. Through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Take a moment to invite your prayers and thanksgivings. We pray for this upcoming week. And we pray for safe travel for those who are making journeys on this Thanksgiving, but we also pray perhaps more importantly for people sheltering and staying safe this week. We pray for all those lives that are connected to ours. We pray that people may be safe and pray for anyone that's facing adversity, sickness. We pray for healing and strength. We pray for our entire church community, for our school. We pray for their search for a new head of school. We give, lift our prayers to our nation and to the world. I invite your prayers and thanksgiving. Gracious God, for all our prayers spoken and those that reside deep in our heart, we lift them up to you. We continue by saying together <clears throat> the prayer of the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfailingly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining the morning prayer today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless.